what's up guys and welcome back to everything gaming and on today's video i'm going to be helping you guys complete all three of the forzathon challenges for this week's forzathon in which you can win the porsche 918 spider which is one of my favorite cars in forza horizon 3 i absolutely adore it as you will probably see in a lot of my videos i primarily use it fantastic car and you should be very excited about winning it so anyway there's only three challenges the fourth one will probably be a discount in the auto show anyway the first challenge here called flying by wants you to perform an airborne pass skill to win 95,000 xp the next one called infinite possibilities wants you to perform 10 ultimate skill chains in a retro supercar to earn the Porsche 918 Spider, so a very, very easy one. And the last one called Throw Down the Gauntlet wants you to complete a speed race in a modern supercar to earn 35,000 XP. So, like I said, very, very easy challenges here. So, let's get stuck in on the first one, which just wants you to perform an airborne pass skill to earn 95,000 XP. Now, I've done this before um, and it worked very well, so I recommend coming here to the Rainforest Cross Country Circuit. Now, the reason is there's a lot of jumps in this race uh, and an airborne pass skill just requires you to overtake a car or get a pass skill whilst getting an air skill at the same time. So, as you can see here, uh, on the first bend, pretty much, there's a massive, massive jump. So, what I recommend you do, unfortunately, I didn't get it on this particular bit, um, but I will show you, obviously, more uh, where I do get it. Um, but obviously what you want to do is be closely following uh, a car and just before the jump you want to basically be in a position ready to overtake them uh, so as you can see here you've sort of got an overtake skill there whilst in midair and then that's classed as an airborne pass i won't just show you that one i'll show you a couple more um, but actually believe it or not this spot here through the river is the easiest uh, the reason being uh, the other cars the ai they slow down and break on that corner so you can sort of cut it a little bit uh, get a bit of air at the same time and go past them so as you can see it is five laps so that's what i set it to so i could obviously go to the back of the pack if i did flump the first jump for example or whatever and then just overtake them but all you need is one airborne pass skill so within five Five laps if that's what you set it to you are bound to get it now as well it doesn't matter what car you're in um, so I'm doing it in a modern rally class but it's entirely down to yourself at the end of the day uh, the next challenge wants you to perform 10 ultimate skill chains in a retro supercar to earn the Porsche 918 Spider. now an ultimate skill chain basically requires you to get about 20,000 XP um, times six times multiplier uh, and that's an ultimate skill chain anyway what you do first of all is you're going to want to pick a retro supercar whichever one you want uh, now I ended up going for my Jaguar XJ220 Horizon Edition uh, because I've modified it a bit and it was quite quick but you can pick any one you want it really doesn't matter um, rear wheel drive four wheel drive does not matter at all now once you've selected your car there are two places um, where it will be very easy to get skill points basically uh, the first one as i'm showing you here it was at the airfield and i will show you the next place in a second um, but like i said all you want to do is get 20,000 xp times by the six um six times multiply basically so you'll get about 100 and i don't know what it is 30 40 000, whatever it might be um and then you'll come up with an ultimate skill change. You'll see here, just as you go over 20 or 21,000 points, it pops up with the ultimate skill chain, and then you'll wait for it to all rack up, and then you'll go again and again and again until you've got all 10. Uh, this second location is just off the highway, as you can see here. Now, this is probably quicker than the airfield, because uh, all you have to do is just hoon around and destroy all of these crops and the fences, etc., uh, which is why I said, obviously, pick primarily a fast car. Probably four-wheel drive is better. Uh, but like I said, and I'll slow the footage down uh, when it gets to 20,000 just here. So when you see it pop up with 20,000, you'll see the ultimate skill chain. There you go. Um, so obviously, it's just telling you that you've got that. And then all you have to do is stop, let the skill points rack up, and then it's as simple as that. Uh, so that's all you need to do. Do that 10 times and you'll win the Porsche 918 Spider. So it'll take you about 10 minutes. That's all really. It's not a hard challenge at all. It's in fact fairly easy. Just a little bit time consuming in comparison to most. Uh, the final challenge here called Throw Down the Gauntlet wants you to complete a street race in a modern supercar to earn 35,000 credits. So another very, very easy one. Uh, what you want to do first is obviously select a modern supercar from your cars. Uh, it can be whichever one you want. It really doesn't matter. I just went for the uh, Ford GT Horizon edition but you can choose whichever car you want just make sure it's not hypercar or anything make sure it's classed in modern supercar uh, then as I do I filter the map just to show me all the street races available so 
you know, you've got a broad horizon, just make sure it is a street race and not any other form of race or you will not unlock it. Uh, it does not matter if you win or lose this race as well. As the challenge said, it just wants you to cross the finish line. So whether you cross the finish line in first or 10th, it does not matter. Just make sure you cross that finish line in a modern supercar uh, and then you will get 35,000 credits, which probably isn't a fantastic prize, but it will do sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so there's only three challenges in this Forza Thon. Uh, the fourth one normally uh, will probably just be a discount in the auto show or something like that, so about 20% off. Probably modern supercars or retro supercars. It's normally a discount on something that's required in one of the Forza Thon challenges to help you guys out a bit. Uh, so yeah. Anyway guys, uh, a massive thank you from all of everyone who's uh, subscribed recently uh, from my previous video, uh, you know, that one kicked off quite well. Um, but in general, a massive, massive thank you to everyone for supporting me and for following my channel. Uh, I hope this video helps you out. Uh, and I hope that you all enjoyed it and a massive massive thank you again and don't forget if you do want to see more videos just like this to subscribe for more but thank you very much guys and take care